Hey friends, this is Atif Hope you're well and welcome to the new update on Stellar. In today's video, we will once again take a look at this big falling wedge pattern. And right now you can see that the price and is again rejected by the resistance and the movement is getting more and more squeezed now. And on the daily time frame chart, Stellar is again rejected by this resistance of descending triangle as well. Uh, but before starting this analysis, if you are not subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe it. And for more ideas, you can also join me and support me as a YouTube member or as a Patreon member because here I'm sharing different trading ideas for you. And you can find the link to join me here in the video's description I've shared. So let's start the analysis. And first of all, let me begin with this weekly time frame chart. And here we can see that uh, Stellar is uh, forming a kind of repetitive move like previously. It formed a very big down channel on the weekly time frame chart and we had a breakout. This was, by the way, almost 3000% surge. If I place this measurement tool from this low to this high, then you can see it was surge 2966%, almost 3000%. And same as like that, it has formed again another down channel, another falling wedge pattern. Previous was the down channel and this is the falling wedge. When, by the way, uh, we had this down channel, at that time, I also shared with you a very big harmonic bullish reversal bad move that Stellar formed. And I told you that from here, we can expect a very big move. Let me play this chart and show you how the price end behaved. And you can see it was moving at 7 cents, 7.3 cents. And after playing the chart, we can see it rallied up to uh, 79.8 cents, approximately up to 80 cents. That was almost 1000% rally when I shared this chart. And this time you can see uh, the movement is quite squeezed and we are also testing this key support of 10 cents. This will be very important, this support of 10 cents. For example, if we will have a daily closing, this is by the way the weekly time frame, but if we will have a daily closing below them, this support of 10 cents, then there can, can be a very high probability that we may move more down to test the support of the wedge. That will be approximately at 9 to 8 cents and then it can start another reversal move to make another attempt to break out this wedge. Now, if we take a look at the daily time frame chart, then yes, we are still moving inside this uh, descending triangle. And recently you can see, yesterday we got rejected by this resistance of a uh, descending triangle. There can be another trend line. Uh, you can place it in this way as well. However, both trends, trend lines or resistance lines are almost at the same level. We need to break out these trend lines and then we can expect a further move the conservative target, by the way, after this breakout uh, from this triangle uh, can be here. That will be approximately at 16.7 cent. And, and in that situation, we can get out of this very, very big wedge. And we can also break out this key resistance of 12 cents as well. And we can reach this resistance of uh, 16.2 cents. Or maybe we will also break it out as well. By the way, the target for this bigger a uh, falling wedge pattern will be here at the top of the bed that will be approximately at 75 cents. So this was the update so far. I hope that you've liked the analysis. Then do hit the like and do subscribe to the channel as well. And for more ideas, you can also join me and support me as a YouTube member or as a Patreon member. Because here I'm sharing different trading ideas for you. And you can find the link to join me here in the video's description I've shared. Take care. Goodbye.